get a good life. <clears throat> so I uh, fucked up. This is the second hair piece in two days. The f previous one lasted five weeks and I thought, fuck, this is getting annoying, okay? It was starting to get a bit of a perimeter there and I took it off. I made a video about it, but I decided not to publish it because I don't give a fuck about that video. It's just, I did it in like six segments and I was gonna edit it and then I thought, I can't be bothered. <sighs> so, what happened was, when I was lying there playing with my long hair at the front and realizing it was you know, getting fluffy, I realized I needed a haircut. And I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh, fuck, there's a lot of gray here now. A lot of gray. I even had a nightmare about somebody who was like had gray patches with nice brown hair and then gray patch and then go like fucking have diseases and shit. Gray has been giving me a bit of a pain in the ass kind of nightmare scenario in my mind. So I took the uh <clears throat> Beardscape from Brio and I put a six millimeter uh, attachment on it and I went up there at the sides there and then I looked kind of fucking weird right that was really short and then the rest was really long so it looked like there was a big drapage I could have just waited for it to grow back a bit but I got one overboard Gonna put a, a 1.6 centimeter, 16 millimeter attachment onto this. I went around my whole head, and for some reason, I don't know if it's because of my grip or whatever, chunks were left behind, which I'm not really gonna bother with for now. So you can see here, this chunk sticking out, and then it's shorter on that side. I just feel like I should wait for a couple of weeks for it to grow out. Then I put on <clears throat> another hair piece. I was just pulling hairs up and just chopping them away. Um, and I, I cut it too short. And one of the problems with that hair piece was, I've told you before about the way that the hairs are stitched into the hair piece. You want them all going in one direction. It's in my case, with a partial, I want them all going in one direction. And they were going all in one direction here, but then one spot up here that started turning and going that way, right? So it was, there's nothing I could do to get those down. So I cut it shorter and shorter and shorter, and the whole thing was just like this. It looked insane. <clears throat> so I realized I've got to keep the hair at least a certain length. Didn't just realize it, I knew it in advance, but then I thought, okay, I'll just take the risk, right? But I fucked it up completely. And so I threw it away. And then I started again, did this one again. Short hair, but then I've got a hair piece on that is pretty long. And if you'd watched the previous episode where I bleached them, you could see how blonde this is at the front compared to a normal hair style, a normal hair piece. It's really, really blonde at the front. But in this lighting, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, you need to bleach it at the front if you haven't watched any of my previous videos so that the if you've got white skin it blends up better you don't want some wall of hair the wall of hair is really fucking shocking it looks like doll's hair it's almost as bad as having unbleached knots well it's probably on par with that so this is dry hair after having a shower a few hours ago um, and it doesn't work with this hairstyle, as you can see, it's short back and sides with, with clumps, obviously, and then along at the front, but I don't want to really cut it shorter. I might trim a bit around this side because I've sort of gone up on an angle to trim it there. I might continue to do that, but I just don't really want to deal with that frizz again. So just for you right now. I'll just try to solve this problem that I've got with this. So this hair piece, the way I've cut it, because I have to start with a dome because they're stock pieces and they're cheaper and they come within a, within a week, they get delivered. So they're all flowing in this direction, then they're flowing in this direction here, and this direction here, and this direction here, and then in the middle it sort of has this circle where they're all going away sort of thing. Um, it depends on how they did it. It would be great to get like a, custom piece made 
and I've had this done before where all the hairs were just flowing in one direction. I just chopped out a head face and it all flowed in that direction. It was perfect. But it takes eight weeks. I'm gonna fucking deal with that. It costs more money too. So I'm just gonna stop piece and just try to carefully cut them out nicely. So I'm just gonna put a hairstyling product in it. And hopefully this will solve it. Because this is similar to people who complain a lot about um, microphone recording quality. Uh, and it doesn't matter that much when it's in the mix, right? It just blends in all the hum and whatever else you've got going on in the room with the sound of the guitars and the drums and everything else. And you can't notice it. And I'm thinking, okay, well, it's hair, so it'll probably work itself out with some hair product and then just sort of like sit in position at least well enough while I wait for two weeks for the rest of the hair to kind of find its level. So this is probably the best I can achieve right now with what I've got. It's not a great hairstyle though, is it? But because I shaved this off, I had to deal with all of that. I had to cut it all shorter, or just wait and have that awful side, short sideburns. <sighs> if only there was a way to keep them short and the rest of the hair looking good in alignment with each other. The hairs in alignment with each other. So I'll be walking around like this for the next two weeks and hoping that hair product will keep everything the position. So those little bits that are sticking out a bit, see? They might need to be cut, but I'm worried that if I cut them, then they'll stick up even more because hip pieces don't like to be less than an inch and a half long. Because unlike natural hair, which can be sort of pushed down and stays a bit, Hair piece hair is tied in and it wants to just do that unless it's got some weight to it, in which case it can weigh itself down. But this, the most important lesson here for you guys is keep lots of spare hair pieces. I fucked up on one hair piece and immediately I threw it away. Why? Because I had spares. I had a year supply, really. But because I go through them more, than most of you guys, just for <clears throat> the sake of this channel, um, I do have more than most people maybe, but I'd still say don't have less than three, really, because you could fuck one up, like I have, and I think why don't you go to a professional hairdresser, and the thing is I'm dealing with my hair often so i've got the ability to see a lot of it like even that being shaved at the back of the neck i'm kind of more willing now with a mirror to just shave that even left-handed i'm right-handed and then i even get in there with the left hand and do that that way so if you can learn to shave the back of your neck that's the main thing that a hairdresser would do. And these clumps and everything, you go to a hairdresser and they just start chopping bits and pieces off here and they don't understand that hair pieces want to do that all the time if they go beneath the threshold. And I've had a lot of nightmare experiences with hairdressers and I've got to sort of wear a hat for three months while I wait for my hair to grow back because this flap here of hair that sort of seals over is absolutely essential. And if they cut that short, then um, I'm fucked. Now this could be improved, obviously. Like it could be blended more so that that bit there could be maybe chopped into more of a seamless kind of blend in there as well. <sighs> but I'm just not willing to risk it at the moment. So that's my fuck up.
And so I'm just gonna live with my hair like this for a while. And of course, as you probably are aware, after the heat of your body melts the hair product in and you walk around, you... it's gonna look different in two hours time. But I think I wanna just keep this hair piece for the next five weeks or whatever, four weeks and wait for my hair to grow back instead of cutting this to what my current hair length is. Because I think there's a way that this could potentially become okay within maybe even a week. But at the moment, I'm just sort of stuck with this fucked up problem. And the other thing I sort of experienced in my nightmare was that I've got grey, which is white, and blonde. So there are two foreign colours in my medium dark brown hair. Right here, this splotch here is a chunk of glue that's in there that I haven't got out yet. And uh, that will take some C22 spray. Otherwise, I'll pick at it and the hairs will just fall out. I pull it out, so I have to deal with that too. <sighs> yeah, it's an yeah, it's a major problem, <coughs> really, that I dyed this too blonde um, when I did my bleaching. Better clothes would help this look alright as well. We'll see how it goes. I really just wish that uh, hair companies would make um, partial compatible hairs pieces that aren't dome shaped without hairs being sewn in in every direction. Because once they go like that and then like that, that hair piece is unusable. So I'm throwing out hair pieces because I've got fray sticking up here because they're not all going in one direction. I just don't understand why they can't just stick to one direction. I guess because they're only making domes for full, for full caps. They make no hair pieces at all for people who need partials, which is probably 50% of their customers.